Hello there, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Carson City. Now today, I want to tell you guys a story. A story I just recently remembered from my past. <laughs> now, basically, this is a story from my high school days. And this is also going to be a story about the most disgusting thing I have ever eaten in my entire life. And no, I'm not talking about this really, really hot sushi challenge I did one time. That is a story for a different time, so hold your horses. No, this story revolves around one person, though. Well, two people, actually. Me and this foreign exchange student named Colvin. Now, Colvin was from Ukraine or Russia. He's from one of those countries. He was super awesome, super cool. Love that kid to death in high school. He was way fun to hang out with. Unfortunately, he went back to wherever the hell he came from. Now, before you say, uh, oh, that's, if you liked him so much, why don't you remember where he's from? Because he never actually told me. So that's the thing. So basically, we were going to go to this dance. And this dance, it wasn't one of those, like, big formal dances where you had to ask a girl and stuff like that. It was just a funsies dance. It was for funsies, you know? So I get to his house. This kid's currently living with his grandma because that's what you do when you're a foreign exchange student. You have a grandma that lives in the United States, you know? I'm pretty sure I would do that if I went to a different country, I would live with a relative. Because, I mean, it's free rent and stuff like that, you don't have to worry about things, you know. And it's grandma, she gives you cookies and whatnot. That being said, this grandma did not hand out cookies. I came into the house, and Colin was like, oh yeah, just one second, I just gotta finish getting ready, you know. He runs off to his room. I see his grandma, who is sitting in front of a TV, you know, watching some crazy Russian show or Ukrainian show. Looks super dramatic, you know. She's like a short little woman. You know, short, very short, very short. And she has like the granny fro going on and stuff like that. And she's just like, just doing her thing. Just watching her soaps, you know. Then I notice she's eating what seems to be pickles from a jar. As you can see, I was kind of confused. Because I mean, like, not a lot of people eat pickles from jars, you know. Like, maybe like one, you like grab a pickle. You're like, mmm, delicious pickle. No, this lady was pounding them down like they were going out of style. But then I realized they didn't exactly look like pickles. They looked like something else. Something that should belong into the toilet. So, my curiosity finally got the better of me. And I looked to her and I said, hey, what are you eating? So when I asked this question, she looks to me and she smiles. She only has like three teeth, you know? And she answers me like this. This is pickled sea cucumber. At this time, I have no idea what the hell a sea cucumber is. I didn't know. I had to look it up, actually, to find out what the heck a sea cucumber is. So, this is a sea cucumber. <coughs> it's not pretty. It's very slimy. It's basically a relative to the sea slug. And when it gets scared, it throws its entire stomach up and runs away. Now, imagine if a human being did that every time it got scared. So anyway, me being the young, dumb kid that I am, I ask if I can try one. She grins. I didn't know it was possible, but she grins even bigger than she did before, showing off that she actually had four teeth. And she plucks one out of the jar, and she hands it to me, and it's squishy, and it's slimy, and it's just everything that food should not be. <laughs> well, you know me, I'm willing to try anything once. Hey, you know what, it could be good. It could be like squid, I like squid. A lot, a lot of people like squid because of the texture, because it's really chewy, but you know what, I think it's really good. So I'm thinking to myself, I might have a new favorite dish, you know, you never know. That is where I'm wrong. I am so wrong. In fact, I don't think I have ever been more wrong in my entire life. When I thought the last Airbender movie was going to be a good movie, I was more wrong this time than I was then. So I bit into this thing, and it made like this weird like squishing snapping noise. I don't really know how to describe it. And I can't really describe the texture. I guess it could be the same consistency as mucus. But the one thing that stood out to me was the taste. This thing literally tasted like a can of ammonia. 
This thing literally tasted like if you got drain cleaner and you drank that instead of water. That's what this tasted like. It was awful. It was hands down one of the worst things ever. It tasted like a gym sock that had been soaked in iodine. So as per usual, when you do eat something nasty, you retch. I retched so hard. I almost threw up on this poor lady's carpet. And as I'm like sitting here dying from this like amalgamation of cleaning products and sweaty gym socks and mucus, this lady is laughing at me in her lazy boy. She's like over in the corner, just almost in tears. She's laughing so hard. <laughs> Put hair on your chest. That's the one. That's the one word I phrase I remember her saying to me over and over and over again. So yeah, obviously I wasn't man enough to handle this thing. She's just laughing, and Colvin comes back out. Are you okay? Your grandma made me try a pickled sea cucumber. The best part is Colvin turns to his grandma and is like, Seriously, grandma? Again? <laughs> so that is my story for the day. It's not a very long one, but it's one of my favorite memories from high school. So if you liked the video, don't forget to push that like button because, I mean, it is there for a reason. And also you can leave a comment in the comments below. I mean, those are there for a reason too. You can also get a hold of me on my Twitters at Carson underscore city. And there you can actually leave me things for other series I'm doing, like uh, Picks from the Net and or Listapalooza. If you want to see me like research something and make a list on it, I'm more than happy to. Or if you have funny pictures from the internet, send them to me. I'd love to observe them and see if I can figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah, that's a thing. And finally, the last episode I did say I was going to be doing a reading your comments section soon. I actually have a subject for you guys to leave comments on now. The subject for the reading your comments is going to be what is the grossest food you have ever eaten in your life and what circumstances led you to eating this food. I shared with you that you guys this story and I'm kind of curious about you guys if you have a story like this. They don't necessarily have to uh, involve very scary Russian ladies with pickled sea cucumbers, but I'd like to know regardless. That being said, Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have yourself a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye. Bye.